I think a lot of us were anticipating students struggling with the face masks in the building and knock on all the wood, they've been phenomenal with it. We've had next to no face mask issues so far. And I think that's such a testament to what our parents are telling their kids at home. They're really coaching them up and bringing them in with a positive attitude. And I think if 12 year olds can handle it, I think we all should be able to handle it. You can tell that the majority of our kids want to be in a school building. And so I worry about the strain that it puts on families if parents are having to miss work to stay home with their kiddos, if they don't have childcare for them throughout the day. Um, I think about our teachers and how difficult it will be for our teachers to do an online um, and not have them in person and be able to answer those questions. So I just, I know that online is best for some of our students and we're doing our best to serve them on that platform. But I also think just based on enrollment numbers, you can tell our kids wanna be in school and we wanna be able to offer them that opportunity. I think you could tell so many teachers and administrators leading up to that day were like, you know what, we're doing all of this planning and we're going through every possible scenario we can think of and we know we're still missing things. And at the end of the day, it is so easy to get wrapped up in numbers and X's on the floor and to start looking at statistics that you forget these are human beings, these are people. And to finally have that energy and excitement back in the building, I think it was a really great reminder for everyone that works in education, the reason we chose to go into education in the first place. If wearing a face mask, such a small, easy task, will let us keep kids in school, we absolutely want to do that. I'm really hoping we can encourage people to wear masks so we can keep our schools open and our kids learning.